ladies this is amber melon and welcome to my channel if you are new here girl don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me and if you are not new here then hey girl how are you doing today thank you ladies so much for tuning in to another video if you like this video and enjoyed this video if any of my videos have ever encouraged you or helped you please give this video a big thumbs up to show your love and support also you can drop a comment below in the comment section if you are a girl a few words then just drop some hearts some emojis and just let me know how you like this video i also have a facebook group page it's a community of women where we come together encourage each other ask each other questions if you need help we are just helping each other throughout the week and pushing each other to help achieve our dreams and our goals and also make sure you are you ladies are following me on Instagram all right so let's go ahead and jump into this video today's video is is salon suites for everybody okay so um, I know salon suites are the thing now they are super popular they are going they're popping up everywhere everybody's building salon suites um, I don't really see them um, kind of going anywhere or phasing out or closing down not just as of yet if anything I think it's about to go up and be at a peak stage because you know there are a lot of people who want to work for themselves and want to start their own business so yeah I know salon suites are hot and popping I know everybody that's like the thing is like oh my gosh I want to work for myself I'm tired of working for people I'm tired of having a boss I really want my own salon I really want my own salon suite okay and the idea of being your own boss is very glamorized it's very glamorized you know working for yourself you know creating your own schedule that flexibility is all very glamorized but the lifestyle in the beginning it's not glamorous and that's what I really want people to know is you know for those of you who haven't yet gotten a salon suite and you're thinking about it for those of you who just graduated cosmetology school and that's like your main goal that's something that you want to do I really really want you to stop and think about it because salon suites even though it's highly glamorized it's highly advertised it's the it's the thing to do these days it's popping it's what everybody wants you know everybody is not meant for salon suite you know and when you see when you think salon suite and you think about hey I want to get salon suite I really want you to put I want to start my own business that's what I really want you to think. I want to be an entrepreneur because a lot of times hairstylists trying to transition from hairstylist mindset, hairstylist mode, they, they come from working from places and they're still in hairstylist mode, moving into salon suite. And if that is the mindset that anyone has moving into salon suite, you are going to suffer. You're either going to suffer or you're going to quit within six months to a year and you're going to move out, okay? Because you have to understand that when you start that transition to working for yourself, you have got to go harder for yourself than you ever did working for someone else, okay? So, um, you know, a lot of times these people, you know, when they build these suites and you get a, you know, you take a tour for the salon suite, you know, they show you, they, you know, show you like what you have to look forward to and they let you listen to other stylists. That's, that's good and all, but at the end of the day, they're just doing their job. You know, their job is to sell those rooms okay that's their job they have a time limit you know i'm pretty sure on how many rooms they should be selling they're not really thinking about you know is this person going to be successful is this person savvy with social media you know is this person savvy with how to get clients how to position themselves correctly to get new clients you know is this person gonna you know work harder they're they're not really thinking about that and you know that's i was already in that mindset before i moved into salon suite for one the rent that they charge for these small rooms 
is outrageous to me it's outrageous and depending on who you're leasing through you know it comes it comes with a lot of stipulations okay and another thing is you know it's the size of it so so yeah sorry guys i had someone calling so that's just any of the ladies that are you're watching my videos you're getting encouragement from my videos you want a salon suite or you're in a salon suite and you're struggling I really want you to think about are you in business mode are you really in that boss boss babe girl boss boss mindset you have to go harder than you ever did for someone else okay and a lot of times you know hairstylists will move in the in the salon suite and undercut themselves go lower you know the price if your price you know how they say sis so I'm gonna say sis sis if your prices are not right okay you will suffer okay you will suffer you have to get the numbers right you have to figure out before you move in how many days a week am i gonna be working you have to figure out your main services your main services that you're spotlighting hot lighting i mean highlighting and advertising all the time you have to understand how long is that how long is this service going to take me okay what I'm charging, am I making enough an hour, you know, to to pay all of my expenses, to, to pay my rent, and then what's gonna be my take home, and then you, can, you can't forget, you gotta invest back into your business, so a lot of times, the be your own boss is so glamorized, but a lot of people don't wanna do what real bosses do. Sis, if you're your own boss, you're working all the time in the beginning, okay? So in the beginning, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of getting dirty. It's a lot of blood, sweat, tears, sacrifice in the beginning. And then after that initial uh, three to five years, then comes the glamorous side. Most businesses don't see any profit until after the first three to five years, okay? Now, however, for some people, it could be different for so long. So, you know, some people already have a clientele. You know, some people have worked for themselves for 10, 20 years. They're tired of the big salon. They're tired of staff. They're tired of employees. They want to work less, make more. They hire assistant, and they do wonderful at salon suite, and that's good. And, and I'm not talking about those people. I'm the people that I'm talking about are the women who resonate with my story. You know, moving into salon suite, no clientele, and you have to work your butt off. I can't. There's no other way for me to say it. You know, I've made I've made videos on how to get clients without social media. I made videos on how to use social media. I made videos on how to get clients. I made a video on, you know, pricing, raising your prices because that was a mistake I did. I don't know what else to say for people who watch my videos and who are struggling. And let me say this too, when you're your own boss, when you start a business, a lot of people don't want to take the necessary time to let the business grow sometimes in life you can be doing all the right things you can be doing everything right but in some cases when you're doing all that stuff things just take time and a lot of people don't want to be patient enough to let time do its work and be successful and a lot of times when people are not seeing it quick enough they're not seeing it happen fast enough they will quit they will slack off they will you know, I'm tired of this. I've invested too much money. But I told you, ladies, in the beginning that Salon Suite is just like starting any other business. It's the same hard work. The only thing is, is it's smaller. It's on a smaller scale. But the same hard work that you would have to put in any to, into any other business, you're definitely going to have to put in Salon Suite, especially if you don't have any clientele, okay? So a lot of you ladies resonate with me because I don't have any clientele, and it's inspiring, and it's encouraging, and I'm so happy that I can encourage and inspire you ladies. But let me tell you, it was hard. It's a struggle, and a lot of ladies don't want to go through struggle. A lot of people don't want to struggle. They want to skip over all the hard work, all the sacrifices, all the blood, all the tears. They want to skip all that and just live this grand, glamorous life, but that's not how life is. 
Now, people may lie on social media and Instagram and pretend to you that that's how it is. People may have struggled for the first three to five years and now you're, you're seeing their end story. Now you're seeing them at the highlight of their career. And you're looking at that and you're, you know, it's glamorizing and that's what you're basing off your decision. But sis, let me tell you, in the beginning, it is hard work. I can't even describe to you. Yes, there'll be times you will struggle. Yes, there's going to be times where it's hard. Yes, you may be broke for a while and all your money is going to your business, but this is what you said you wanted, right? This is what you said you wanted more than anything, so why is it worth it enough to go through the process? Why isn't it worth it enough to go through the struggle? Why isn't it worth it enough to let time pass by and do its thing? You have to give it time. You have to give starting a business at least a minimum a year. I would say three to five years because that's statistics. That's, that's the averages. That's what people say most businesses fail within the first year, okay? Most businesses don't see a profit within the three to five years. So if you just moved into salon suite and you're ready to quit after a month, you didn't really need to be in a salon suite. You needed to work for somebody else. Sis, if you're not gonna work for someone else and you're tired of someone else telling you what to do, telling you when to come in, I'm telling you that when you start your own business, when you become an entrepreneur, I'm tripping over my words. When you become an entrepreneur, you have to be more disciplined for yourself. You have to learn to put yourself on a schedule. You have to put yourself on a routine. It's, self, it's all about self-regulation, self-starting, self-motivating, putting restrictions on yourself, putting deadlines on yourself, putting dates on yourself, getting up early, staying up late, making yourself do what you don't want to do, doing those small things that nobody wants to do that just doesn't seem like a big deal, doing those small things consistently every day to get you to that big goal, but no one wants to do that. So that's the tough love. That, that's why I wanted to name this video Tough Love because I really want you ladies to understand that just because it's about being your own boss, setting your own schedule, working for yourself, yeah, that's the glamorous side, but when you move in there, stuff gets real. You know, life gets real and you have to understand you gotta go harder. You gotta wake up early. You gotta plan your days. You gotta plan the night before. You have to discipline yourself. And you can't just think just about salon suites. You always gotta be thinking about the future. You know, how are you going to, you know, create something else for yourself? How are you gonna create another stream of income without being in a location without being behind the chair. For me, Salon Suites was just a way to open the door for me to start a business. You ladies know I never wanted to have a salon. Never has that been a dream of mine because I know how much how much hard work, you know, salon is. And I never really was like all that crazy about the hair industry. You know, me going into the hair industry is because I love to make people feel better about themselves. I love to transform people. I love to bring the inside and match it out to the outside. That's why I went into hair. And I guess that's why it was easy for me to make that switch in my mind. You know, when it comes to like business and entrepreneurship, because I never was just caught up on the artistic side, you know, of hair. I'm, I'm more about, I've, I've always been more about the other side of it. I've always wanted to have businesses. I've always wanted to have a business. I always knew I was going to be an entrepreneur and I always knew that it was hard work. Maybe because, you know, um, my mom worked for herself for many, many years and I seen the hard work that she put in it. But yeah, it's a lot of working when you're at the salon, working when you come home. It's a lot of as soon as you get off work, being on Instagram for an hour or two, making sure you're being social, making sure you're making connections, making sure you're posting your pictures, and making sure you're posting on Instagram stories. It's a lot of work. And it's more work when you're in a salon suite, especially in the beginning if you don't have any clients and you're just starting out because you do not have the money to hire an assistant. 
you do not have the money to take all, you know all this great anyone to come in and you know do commercials of you photography now if you do have the budget that's wonderful i think that's a great investment you know to put on social media but a lot of times you don't have it and so it's it's constantly working all day my off days are tuesdays and sundays and even on my off days i'm always working i'm always working on another project i'm always working on you know my youtube you know what i'm gonna tell you ladies i'm always connecting with ladies you know on my facebook group page i'm always thinking what kind of thing can i create that will solve a problem that will help you ladies and for you ladies who are rocking with me and you you know you resonate with my message i really want you to think of what are you creating that's going to take you from behind the chair in a few years what are you creating where you physically don't have to be present in your salon in your salon suite that when you wake up you can make money or you can have a service and you can work from anywhere in the world that's what i want you ladies to think that's where I want you ladies to be at. Please don't get so wrapped up into, you know, the boss be your own boss idea, okay? Please don't get wrapped up into setting your own schedule, okay? I really want you ladies to think about the pros, the cons, the benefits, and the downsides of it because it's all a part of the process, okay? Well, my dog is barking. Um, someone's at the door. I have to go. But if this message has resonated with you, please drop a comment, heart, emoji below and let me know uh, how this message has resonated with you, ladies. All right? Love you. Bye.